Hey love, welcome to the Shy Love Radio Show, Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio and Spotify Premium. We all know that the Shy Love Show is sponsored by Shy Love LLC. Welcome this Monday. It's a rainy Monday, but I love the rain. I hope all is well for you all. We will begin this day with some announcements. Pop Radio Worldwide welcomes new hosts. If you are interested in having your own radio show here on Pop Radio Worldwide, connect us to iHeartRadio and Spotify Premium. Contact Pop Radio, P O P R A D I O W O R L D W I D E, Pop Radio Worldwide at gmail.com. Also, March 14th, we are having the Shy Back event. It's a workshop for the models and the actors who are taking interested in taking your careers to the next level. You should be here March 14th for the Shy Back workshop. You can get your tickets on Eventbrite, eventbrite.com. At 12.01-310.20, the movie Magic will be released. You can get it at Walmart, Redbox, Amazon Prime, Google, Hulu, Netflix, In Demand, Tubi TV, Voodoo, Pluto TV through Maverick Films. You can also check it on Video On Demand and the streaming streaming media. So make sure to check that out if you were not able to uh, come to the premiere that we had here in Chicago. This is a movie that I was in. OMG, you all want to see my love scene that I have up in this movie? Ooh, shut up. <laughs> Ooh, all right. So in today's news, um, I would like to talk about the two teens who were in custody after fires were shot at who? Chicago police. Now, apparently, allegedly, Someone called the police and reported that um, they saw someone with the gun. This could be true. I don't know. From the medium that I uh, come into contact with, a lot of people are not calling the police anymore like they used to. But of course, they have to say that they received some type of call to come and intervene. Nevertheless, the police received a call after receiving a report of a person with a gun where they allegedly encountered two boys running into the alley where um, the boys began to just start to shoot at them. Now, thankfully, these boys were 12, uh, 14 and 16 years old. Thankfully, the police did not return any shoots, any shots back. Uh, no one was injured, and the police did recover two we weapons on Chicago's west side. <sighs> 14 and 16 years old. These are still adolescents. Um, I do want to say thank you to CPD, to uh, 12, as we call you all, for not shooting these young boys. Thankfully, you all didn't get shot. I know that you all have families and everything, too. But we have to, we have to do something else because these boys should not have felt um, comfortable enough or the need to have to fire at police officers when on the side of you all's cars it says that we serve and protect. Unfortunately, um, there's not much clarity in who you all are really serving and protecting when you're out amongst the people. So even when you're coming across in a way to help, because let's just say a concerned citizen called and said she saw somebody out there with a gun, and you're, and you're coming on behalf of that lady or that man who called you all, you now have these adolescents who um, have very poor relationships with the police. So whereas you all were going to just come in and uh, rectify the, the situation, you don't know. We don't know what type of fear that they were feeling. We don't know what reasons they had to even have that gun in the first place because we have these ops out here on the street, and then they see the boys in blue who they consider ops as well. Uh, it's just really a situation where 
we all need to come together to do something. I can ask you a question, honey. Yeah. How can we give the youth um, some kind of, can we give them advice on how to deal with the police when they're approached by the police so it doesn't become more hostile and uh, escalate to um, what happens in Chicago nowadays when some of these youngsters are approached and um, a lot, you know, our nature in Chicago, New York, and California, we, we know to be belligerent as soon as you yes. know we're approached. So yes. can we give the youngsters some advice if they come in uh, with some of this uh, police contact or illegal stop and search and yes. stuff like that? So to, first of all, it loves. <sighs> Respect goes a long way. And I know because of what we have encountered uh, in the past, um, and just day to day with interactions with a lot of police officers. And I'm not going to say all, because that would mean that every single last one of them will be in on, you know, this type of um, just belligerent behavior. And Pop got, sometimes the cops are acting Pop so got like, a cousin like that's a cop, you know? Melanie, and yeah, I, he's I one of the most different. humble you know, and yeah. helping. You know, I, I can't even see him as a cop, so I hope it's yes, more him yes, out there on yes, the force. You yes, know what I'm saying? Yes, hopefully there's more more good than bad. Shout out Ruben, man. I know Ruben a good cop. You know what I'm saying? And so, shout out, salute to the good cops. You know, I know the Roger Washington. Um, I have some family members. So, um, but to the ones who act like they are still dealing with bullying issues from back when they were a child, and now because of the badge and everything, they feel like they have something to prove out in the street. You have to be mindful of them. You need to, it'd be great if you had some type of ID on you. Cause you know, if you don't have any ID, they could definitely take you in and make you sit there. So it'd be great if these children could start to have some form of ID on them. Um, if a cop is approaching you, find out what is going on. Try to be as respectful as possible. And police officers, you all need to be respectful as well, regardless of your badge and your gun and your title. This is still human to human. It's just different titles. These are still children. So being respectful, answering questions as best as uh, you, you know how without uh, implicating yourself because that's your right. And don't let them throw you off your square. And not letting them, you know, uh, sometimes with the little... They use psych psychological techniques to throw you off your square to get you riled up sometimes depending on who the officer is. You must stay calm. Although they are the ones who are supposed to be trained in this, they are supposed to be trained in how to deal with a nervous, uh, afraid, you know, civilian, uh, someone who has already been going through abusive situations or whatever. They're supposed to be trained and knowing how to handle that and de-escalate the situation. But all the time, the person with the badge is not the cop. So in order for you to get home and to decrease your mother's tears, be respectful. If the police officer does not have you feeling like you're unsafe, don't just pull a gun and start shooting. Y'all could have shot somebody else. And that's, a, that's an issue with the little Chiracians. When you shooting, you're not even hitting your target. But thankfully, we did not have another situation where we would have to be all out in the streets like we were with um, Daquan McDonald, because I was out there. You know, that, that was horrible. I think a lot of you all do not understand how much love you really have until something happens to you and then you see the outpour outpour of cries and concern from people who never even met you just because you never had a chance to live your life everybody is growing and we need the youth to step in and step up so that you can continue building these legacies so that we can continue this black uh, history excellence and we need to find a way for the CPD and for the residents of Chicago to come together to where we are respecting each other and adhering to the laws as close as possible. Um, I actually had an idea of um, people up in a district actually like having events where you're coming to introduce your child to the, pe to pe the people at the police station. And that could be good or bad. 
Because if you know that this is my son, you know that this is Shiloh's son or Shiloh's daughter, and you kind of got an idea of, you know, uh, where where our babs are at with that, and you seeing something going going on, then you can bring me my child. We can sit down and work out what is going on versus you not knowing this face from any other little face, and everybody looking like a savage and a little monster to you. Whereas if you kind of have an understanding of what's going on in the dynamics of the land and the dynamics of the people, it could be more of a camaraderie, camaraderie there. Um, we're able to part, um, just participate with you all and help to keep our area safe because ultimately that's what we all supposed to be wanting, right? But then at the same time, going and introducing your children to the police you know, may not work out depending on who the police officer is because we do know about police officers who will know your information a little bit about you and will put something on you. So that's why I always go back to your character, people. Regardless of the title, the status, the weapons that come with it, your character means so much. And if you have the type of, um, you want the type of rapport to where you're not you don't have to come out here into the into the streets and be afraid for your life every day because I know officers are afraid for their lives as you should be. And people are afraid of their lives. If we can get it down to where there is some type of calmness in us knowing that initially we're not out here to hurt each other, that we're trying to get down to the bottom of things to have a solution, then I, I can see some brighter days. So I just wanted to tell those CPD officers, tell 12, very good for not shooting that 14 and 16 year old boy out on the west side. Uh, hopefully the parents get involved, the community get involved, whoever needs to get involved in that. Now why these boys had these guns out here? Are they trying to protect their own lives? You know, we can't just um, classify them, tag them, bag them and, and throw them away. But we will be right back with the Shy Love Radio Show on Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeartRadio, and Spotify Premium. Shit in my ears, shit in my ears. They shooting shots shot, 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 at a real nigga. Real 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 Let's go, Let's son. Let's go, son. Prince of pain, pain. Pain. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up. I got him, I got him. Pull up, pull up. Pull up. Hey, welcome back to the Shy Love Radio Show, Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio on Spotify Premium. So um, on the 8th of, which was yesterday, was International Women's Day. You all know that I am about women empowerment and just empowering people, period. <laughs> Especially in a society where uh, we as women are pit against each other, told that we are competition, uh, are made to... Uh, demean each other. Um, we we're giving the message that all of us can't win together. We got to take each other's heads off. We got to, you know, cut each other's throats and so forth. And it's really, really unnecessary. What we need to start to do is just come together. Uh, our character, just because you are a female, does not necessarily put you in the category of a woman. Your character and the way that you treat yourself, the way that you treat others, plays an important role in the type of friendships and everything that you build. And if you have someone who is there for you and with you, um, I would feel like it's logical to return that same kindness, return that same loyalty, and be and develop a sisterhood. You know, this is Chicago, so you can find pretty any and everywhere. We're, we're beautiful here in Chicago. And some, some females are so stuck up on their looks and the shape of their body that they feel like they, they, they can have a nasty attitude. And we have had certain songs who have promoted this. You know, if you're 19 with a bad attitude, whatever Nelly was saying, you know, as long as she was looking good, it didn't matter how her, how her attitude was. Well, your attitude does matter in regard to forming relationships especially with other women. 
what your feminine wow works on that man is not going to work on another woman. I don't want what you have. So how are we going to treat each other as women? And then, you know, we have those women who are able to um, honor another woman, accept another woman for who she is, uh, be open enough to understand her story, even if it may be different from yours. And we have women who know how to check in on your friends, uh, be that support for them when they need it, whether or not you agree with what's going on or not. And then we have some of those Team D, you know, a pick me ass chick <laughs> who will cut another woman's throat just to try to get whatever she wants or to get close to a man. And a lot of times that's when the drama really starts to kick up when it's a man involved. And is this man going back and saying this to her and this to her and now y'all don't like each other? I feel like a lot of women probably would get along a lot better if it weren't for a particular man or some men involved. One thing that you must realize is that you're a woman first. You're a female first. So you have to identify with those feelings and the fact that a woman is being mistreated, period should not be okay with a, with another woman. But unfortunately, we have some women who have been conditioned by that pimp hand to, um, you know, put that bottom B down there out there in the streets to try to condition a woman's mind to accept certain behaviors that she know good and well should not be accepted. So if you're one of those type of females and when things start to happen to you, um, you know, take it as a learning lesson and reflect back on the type of woman that you are and the type of friend that you are and the type of female that you are to another female to where you would prefer to see another woman get chopped down versus help to lift her up. Those are liabilities. We are here and we're doing such greatness and there's no reason why we can't all come together. It doesn't have to be, you know, on the phone all the time or over each other's houses kicking it. A level of respect and honor as a woman, period. And if you're going to gossip, do it in such a way that you're trying to find some sort of solution for your fellow sister. And I am hesitant around a woman who say, well, you know, you can't, I'm around a woman who says you can't trust the woman. No, nah, you can't trust the bitch. Mm. And I'm looking like I can't trust you. Women sneaky. Women be any some that, that is on some, some other stuff. They was conditioned a certain way. But overall, no, nah, that's not the nature of a woman. If your sister's hair isn't correct, help to correct her hair. If she got something to wear her, her clothing is off and you see she's going to take a picture, help your sister out. If you um, are aware of something that could be damaging to her, help your sister out. Don't be the conduit to continue to push more bull crap. But then when something happens to you, you want the women to rally around. To beget, you have to be a friend to beget a friend. We have no reason to have to constantly come at each other's heads when there is more than enough out here for all of us. We have to look within to see what it is about us that is making us feel like we have to tear another woman down. And then you have women who are passive aggressive. So they throw shots and they throw shade. For what? How is this building us as a people? We need to be 
more understanding with each other. We need to be more patient with each other. We need to learn how to encourage and uplift one another. We need to learn how to speak to each other. A lot of females call other females, hey bitch. And it's he 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 and everybody's all good. But if you actually take a step back and look at the pattern of their relationship, you seeing that that girl is actually doing some bitch shit. She called me a bitch for a reason. Are you so loose with your tongue with the little low-key disrespect that as soon as something for real happens? Everything gonna hit the fan. Cause you already are establishing disrespect and whatever type of love report that you have going on. You should not have to worry about confiding in another female and they going back and dogging your name. They going and um, you know, calling you all type of dummies or switching your information around and then people wonder why girls not getting along. Look at how we treat each other. And then Lord have mercy. Let a man get involved. And your wigs is flying. Uh, you're in the club. You're fighting on the floor. No panties on. Just it's going crazy. For what? We don't have to tear each other down. It's a bunch of pretty girls here. We should be doing our pretty girl thing and continuing to elevate. If for some reason the energy is not matching up, we don't have to disrespect each other or tear somebody down. You could not mess with a person and not tear them down. Did you know that? If you don't remember, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Versus trying to drag somebody's name through the mud. And females, females are known for that. And it's pathetic. We don't have to do this to each other. <sighs> we need to protect each other. You know, we hear about the man is supposed to protect the woman. That's not really what's going on this day and age, is it? So when we see that the protection that we were taught we were supposed to have has not quite manifested yet, we need to come together to protect each other. But I know some people say, well, it's a man's world. Then, you know, it is what it is. But you still have a voice and you can still stand to protect your sister. We should all be protecting each other and helping each other elevate, um, coming with feelings of sincerity, uh, knowing that if we don't have anything else in common, the fact that we are still females, we have that in common. We all love somebody that's in common. Let's start looking for the, the things that we have in common with each other versus the things that we disagree with. We don't need to be tearing each other heads off, hormonal imbalances, time or the must get all type of extra, you know, circumstances that can help to throw things off. But you know about that, that, that process. So why not have more patience? Try to have more understanding. Try to actually uh and find out what's going on within you that has you so against your own kind. That's the problem. So before we go on this little break, I just want to give a few little shout outs to too many people on this little page. So I'm going to say Antoinette Hollis, Tracy Hollis, Sheila Moore, Lynette Washington, Nikki Jenkins, Gloria Hogan, Jennifer Harrison, Lamisha Bradley, Sheila Rags, Ottawa S. Campbell, she was Jones, Darlene Jones, Roche Shytown, Tanil Jones, Cassie Ray, Marble Foster, Rachel White, 
Miranda the Right Way, Keisha Coleman, Mika Luciano, Drea Hart, Go Getter, Treasure Nicole, Danica Jackson, Lee Island, Keisha Monet Atkins, Angel Dixon. These are some women that I just want to give a shout out to and tell you all to continue to love, to continue to protect. Be there for your people. Sometimes I wonder how I keep from going. I wonder how I made it out the trenches, how I made it out the gutter. Do it for the block, keep an option locked. And who need a gimmick when your shit is hot? Feeling so immortally, never fold, make them bleed. Worldly, I had to seize the cars that was dealt to me. Prophecies of a G, hip hop ain't that to be. Poetry and loyalty, all about the family. Hey love, welcome back to the Shy Love Radio Show, Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio, and Spotify Premium. I was shouting out some ladies who I like to encourage to just continue to uh, dwell deeper into love uh, with the fellow sisterhood. To shout out to who I'm seeing, I'm seeing um, characteristics of a, a true salute to you. You know what I'm talking about? It's some of you that I see if I'm calling your name, I got a specific type of love for you. Uh, the, <clears throat> so I'm going to continue to go on. Uh, we had Cassie Ray, Marvin Rachel, we did y'all, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Treasure Nicole, Danica Jackson, Leanne Island, Keisha Atkins, Angel Dickinson, LaShonda Barton, you boy Sister Sanders, Maxine Moan, Tonette Holden, the crew. Chrissy Williams, Jeterian Dantzler, Angela Tamika, Nietzsche, Tutu, Sugar, Poochie, <laughs> Kanisha Rags, Yimi Coco Smith, Jessica LaShawn, Amber Johnson, Queen Deborah Madison, Anthony Carey, Darlene Tate, and so many more of you beautiful women out there. But I just want to give out a few shout outs to you women who are doing your thing one way or another. I am proud of you. Um... Just keep, just keep it going. Just keep love going up in your heart. Let your energy impact your environment. You're very powerful. Shout out, love, salute. So, now, let's talk about our power. And in our power, we have uh, control over ourselves. We should. And control over who it is that we are in life, who we become in life, and the things that we do, right? So we set up these goals and things that we have for ourselves. And with these goals, we must invest in ourselves. And that's something that a lot of people aren't really catching on to. You can have all the goals that you want, but if you aren't really willing to put in the work to reach said goal, and make it come out the way that you envisioned it to come out to, then what are you doing? You're making music, but you're not willing to invest in a radio station or some type of platform that's going to push your music for you. If you're constantly looking for the free and you're not bankrolling your own venture, I'm not really seeing how uh, you're going to reach the pinnacle of success that you would like to. Everything requires work. And in, in investing in yourself, you must learn that some things are to be sacrificed and some things are not. We're going to start off with what not to sacrifice um, <clears throat> because I've been noticing over the years that when people, especially like in the in the industry and stuff, you all are sacrificing families. You sacrificing families for the goal. I have seen numerous relationships and families be torn apart because this person is so into uh, his rapping or whatever it is that he is doing. Um, that wow, he has definitely just lost his family behind it. Now, yes, are you supposed to help your person out and support them in their endeavors? Yes, but to the point to where um, you're not taking care, you don't have the balance to where you can take care of business and take care of home, that's a problem. 
you constantly telling your child I can't do for you because you're doing over here for the business and yes in the long term if if everything pans out the way that you uh, envision it too okay yes the bag will come but this child is in need right here right now if the child is hungry today you can't say uh, son I'm going to feed you after I sign this contract after I get this deal If you agree to be with somebody in a relationship and this is your woman, you can't say if something is going on now, you can't just throw her to the wayside and not come and address whatever uh, issues is at the table at that point. There needs to be a balance. I'm not seeing um, the alcohol being sacrificed. I'm not seeing the drugs be sacrificed. I'm not seeing the time with the gas be sacrificed. But I'm seeing a lot of the families being sacrificed especially in this industry when it comes to um, following your goals. So that's just something I, you know, hope you all, you know, try to find out like, why is that? But some things to sacrifice, perhaps um, minimize your, your smoke intake or minimize your, how many bottles you buy in a week minimize other things in your life that you know are not necessities so that you can put the money together to invest when you know that somebody has a platform where they can help to push your stuff or um, you know advertise and promote you you want to take your career to the next level we have a workshop going on this week so if you are an actor or a model you're coming to obtain information on how to take your craft to the next level. Now, some people won't even invest fifty dollars. You can't give. You can't even get a whole seven for fifty dollars no more. But you want to get out here, and you want to push your stuff, and you want to get out. You know, you want the uh, what they. You want the clout with what you're doing, but you're not really putting in any type of work to really, you know, get it done at the level that you would like. You have to invest in yourself. Yes, it's going to be some sacrifice. Yes, it might be some sleepless nights. Yes, you might have to penny pinch on some stuff. But ultimately, in the long run, if you're consistent with it and you're, and you're doing business with the correct people, it's going to turn out like you envision or even better. Nothing is, is wrong with doing your research and seeking out people who have already done it before you, who have knowledge about how to do it, and going to them and saying, listen, these are my plans, this is what I have going on, how is it that I can elevate in this? Because ultimately, these are your goals. This is your life. And you can't put it on anybody else as far as why you did not succeed if you know that you were not, you wasn't even willing to invest in yourself as an individual or in business. So I'm going to holler at Pop in ask him to help give us some tips on how we can invest in ourselves as far as <clears throat> that's just me individuals and career wise what you think Paul? individual and career wise first you got to make a, a wise choice on something that's actually going to make some money on a lot of a lot a lot of us have unrealistic goals you know uh, people think that they're going to uh, get money that they ain't got to put in some music to just make one song and they're going to go spend some more money and perform it at a couple local places and they're going to blow up and that's going to pay for their food and their bills and this, that, and the other. Sometimes you got to take baby steps to get to, you know, uh, make bigger steps. Right. So, I mean, I, I say property is a good investment. I say um, uh, businesses... Uh, from anything to clothing and anything that's 
uh, feeding the community uh, and supported by the community. Anything that's uh, with awareness, empowerment, um, you know, uh, could really help. You know, as long as you put in that work. I got I, I myself as a, I'm an artist, but I have no problem getting on my knees and taking some pictures, working the camera, doing some editing. Uh, so you know, it's it's about uh, working, man, and uh, putting your money where your mouth is. Yeah. Yep. Putting your money where your mouth is. Walking that talk. There should be a correlation between your words and your behavior. There should be a matchup between your words and your behavior. And nothing is wrong with taking baby steps. You should celebrate those steps. Because at one point, you wasn't even moving. Jeezy sold um, a mi about 500,000 copies out of his trunk for about the, about the second year in the game before he even got on. And But before that, I mean, he didn't just get all that, but he also gave a bunch out. So he invested in a bunch of promo, gave some out, and uh, it, the music was so hot that everybody wanted a, a, a mixtape CD, burnt CD. He sold about 500,000 copies out of his trunk. Yeah, do you think that that's like a big misconception? Because it's like they don't really know the level of work that needs to be put in. Mm. It's like by the time they see the video and stuff. You got to understand something, though, too, Melanie. Um, how do I put this? So, very candidly. So, Everybody got a whole different route, you know what I'm saying, to get to the finish line. Right. You know, uh, when Jeezy blew up, it was a whole different time in music. When uh, Jay-Z blew up, it was a whole different time in music. Uh, you know, the way the 6 9 kid, it, it don't work for everybody. Everybody has a different way to get to the finish line, is what I'm saying. So, if it's anything to do with entertainment... Work hard, invest, and uh, you know, uh, you know, it's about your investment. Once you get to a level in the industry, you know, okay, well, I, my video's gonna cost me the way I want it, and, and everything. Maybe the trip I'm gonna take, and okay, five grand, six, seven, eight grand, maybe ten grand. Uh, all right, in a campaign, I'm gonna spend twenty-five thousand. I'm gonna eat off of this song. At least seventy, eighty, ninety thousand dollars on on the quick turnaround, and hopefully, you know, you invest in some good big shows and tours, and you know, you start eating off your shows, and not—I mean, just, you ain't just relying on those spins, uh, but you're doing some shows, man. You're doing some verses. You're working. You're getting around. You know. Mm -hmm. So put yourself out there. You all can do anything. This is Chicago. I don't expect anything less. We have always, always get up to it one way or another. And, you know, we're diverse here. So, like Pop said, everybody got their own lane, uh, own the way of getting it. Mm -hmm. But just get it. That's the bottom line. Get it. How do you say it now? Peri and treat. Period. 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 <laughs> Period. Get it. Get it and, and, and treat people better. Treat yourself better. Treat others better. Okay? That's what we got to work on here, our character as a people and how we treat each other. And then I'm going to have to keep sharing these hotline numbers like the suicide prevention because you don't realize that sometimes you done treated somebody so badly to where they done got beat up so much over a lifespan that now they're at the point of killing themselves and they can call 1-800-248-7475 Empowered Therapy Counseling for Women we got to do better, women. The way that we treat each other, all this low-key, catty, little, mm -mm. it's not cute. 1-312-722-6932. And if love is beating the hell out of you, call the Battered Women's Shelter at 1-773-375-8433. Keep it all love. Let's challenge ourselves to just do opposite of a negative, how we would have usually negatively responded to something. Challenge yourself to do the opposite of that when you're triggered with it. 
and, and see what they get you. And start to pay attention. Hugs. It's all love and shout out. I love you, Kay. Don't lead on, lead on. I'ma make them borrow me with me, yeah. I'ma make them boy remember How the fuck your friend turn your end of me? Why you mad? Bitch, up on me, this shit and the fur. Dog is smoke. Hey, love, welcome back to the Shy Love Radio Show, Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio, and Spotify Premium. Um, I want to just thank you all for taking the time to choose me to spend your 7 to 8 o'clock hour with. I appreciate you and I'm grateful for you. Um, I haven't I have been doing this since what October so far so good would you agree we're going to continue to be here at pop radio worldwide and we are accepting new hosts who wants to come in and do their radio show if you want to talk about the news fashion sports um, just, just what's going on in the current events uh, film whatever it is that you want to talk about just make your uh, appointment with pop through email at pop radio worldwide at gmail.com you will come in for an interview and you will get all the details that you need and we will be welcoming you to the family it's all love here at pop radio worldwide he is putting people on so take your opportunity and do your thing we also have um, at 1201 tonight if you are awoke go to you can go to uh, Walmart, which is usually open 24 hours or at least really late. Um, Redbox, Amazon Prime, Google, Hulu, Netflix, In Demand, Tubi TV, Voodoo, Pluto TV, uh, through Mavic Films and streaming, and you can watch the newly released movie Magic. Come this week. March 14th to the Shy Back Workshop. All the actors, all the models, and also if you want to be a baddie of the week through Pop Radio um, on Wednesdays and you want to be a baddie of the week, please submit your pictures and your resume and everything to him and he will begin in contact with you all. Uh, but the, the actors and the models and everybody needs to be at this Shy Back event March the 14th. It's $50 through Eventbrite. You're going to have received the necessary keys to take your career to the next level. Now, we all know that we can receive as much information as we would like, but it is up to us to actually apply the knowledge. That's how you start to like really manifest. You have to apply the knowledge. So, make this investment. If you're a business for real, you will be able to write this off. And come on in and find out how to take your career to the next level. Today we were talking about the um, two youngsters who were taken into custody and who were not shot. They were shooting at some police officers. And so I love to salute to the police officers who did not return fire on those babies. So thank you for that. But we must still find some type of way to come to terms with... Um, our relationship between the civilians and 12. There's, we need to have some type of level of safety and respect that is um, real in real life and don't and doesn't just look good on paper when it comes to the statistics and the uh, you know yearly things that you all have to turn in. <clears throat> we also were talking about International Women's Day. And how we need to support each other more. How we need to be more mindful of how we treat each other. Um, we need to look more within ourselves to find out why we are uh, mistreating other women. Or view other women as competition or feel the need to even tell one another down. And I also gave a shout out of um, some of the women who I have love for. Who are you know doing good things in one way or another. So, like I said, people, this is this all love and shy love. If you um, are thinking about killing yourself, hopefully you're not. We got the suicide prevention number, 1-800-248-7475. Empowered Therapy Counseling for Women, 
773-375-6932 and the Battered Women's Shelter at 773-375-8400. I'll see you all next week on the Shy Love Radio Show, Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio, and Spotify Premium. I done did a lot, a lot. You ain't did shit at all. Whipping up a pop, pop. Show you how to get it off. I don't merely rock, rock. I just get the brick across. Take it to the block, block. My shorties know I've been a boss, been a boss.